Welcome to this video module focused on the CTP Translator Profiles webpage. Our team will email you a username, a password, and also an internet link that will get you to this page. Once you click on the link, come up here and put in your username. For this one, we've chosen Dominic. Also, you'll then enter in your password. Put in your password and you can click Remember Me if you'd like to not remember your password each time you log in. It is up to you. Once you're done entering your information, click the Login button. This will bring you into the CTP Translator Profiles dashboard. To begin designing your CTP Translator Profile page, click up here at the top and this will bring you to the main page of the website. Click on the CTP Translator Profiles and this will enter in the main page of our website. Now from here, this will include a lot of information in the coming months. Each time someone registers and create a profile, this page will update itself. So, right now as you can see right down below, Dominic, last active 5 seconds ago. If you click on your name here, you'll get to your profile page. Right now it's pretty bare and that's because we haven't done anything. So unless you change the details, this is what it's going to look like. So let's make this optimized for you as a translation professional. To begin with, your profile photo. This will be used right here where this question mark is. You want a profile photo that is professional and represents you as a translation professional. So click on Browse for File, choose the file that you would like to open, and then choose that photo. This will load up and as you can see, you'll have the main photo right here. But once again, you're going to need to select the image that you want to use for your login profile page. So as you can see right down there below, you can see what the profile photo is going to look like. So you can change it, either make it wider, or so right there, I'm a little bit wide. So going to go down a little bit, make it a little bit longer so it looks a little bit more natural, then click OK. Now as you can see up here, my profile photo has now been updated. Each time you go through, you want to put in your information and it will update you as you go along. So we just did our profile photo. Going down to profile details, this is one of the most important sections for your profile page. So once again, who do you want to share your personal information with? Pretty much right now we're going to do public. That way if anyone is searching for you such as let's say a professional or someone looking to hire you or even a friend and family, they can come and see your profile page. Now who do you want to share your activity with? Once again, we'll put it as public because once again this is a professional website. So enter in your birth date. For this we'll put in the 2nd of let's say December and we're going to choose, let's do 1977. That sounds great. Now this is another great option. What town and city are you in? For this one, let's say Portland. And which country are you in? We'll say USA. Now years of translation experience. Once again, this is the number of years that you've been translating. So we'll say 10 years. Now language pairs. This is once again which language you're able to translate into. So for this one, let's do... English to Spanish and let's say we can also translate French to English okay so we'll put those on the web page once again these are ones that you need to be fluent and professional in field of translation usually as translation professional will have something to specialize in whether it's in the science industry or industrial or something maybe government and legislation it, it all depends but for this one let's just say uh, we'll just say government for right now. All right. Now, rate per word for translation. We'll do 154. Professional website. So this might be a LinkedIn profile page, or if you have a created another professional website that you can be hired from, you can put that there as well. So for right now, we'll just do, just so to see what it looks like, ctp.com. We'll just put in something like that. Now, credentials. So this could be anything from what you graduated with from high school, for college, for a graduate degree, or also a certification or designation, such as a certified translation professional. Yeah, CTP. So, as you can see in here, now your CTP membership status. Now, depending on if you haven't completed the program or if you have, choose either participant or alumni. So, for right now, we'll choose participant. And now, professional biography. This is an area that you can expand upon. This is something you might want to change. And you also want to make sure that you update it as you go and advance throughout your career. This is something to let people who are either going to hire you or maybe, I don't know, just someone who is researching you find out a little bit more about your experience, about your training, 
and maybe your specialties that isn't included within these areas above. So for right now, we're going to leave that blank because each person's is going to be a little bit different. But just to show you where that would be, we're just going to put insert professional bio. So that way when you go to the main page of the website, you can see where that will show up. Now business address. So for right now, we'll just put in a business address. And this is where, once again, if someone wants to contact you or hire you, they can see where you're located. But most of the time for translation, that won't be so necessary. A contact number, this is something that should be a professional phone and should be hooked up to a voice messaging system. That way they could call. If you don't answer them, they can leave you a voice message and you can return that call. So for right now, we'll just put in a number. There we go. Once again, an email address. This should go to a professional email, such as for this one that we just created. Perfect. And once again, write down here keyword tags. This could be something that you want to be linked to in case someone's searching. So it could be Dominic D. Williams or translation or translation professional or translation for government legislation. Or it could be any of those keyword tags that you want someone to be able to find you for. That's something that's called search engine optimization. But once again, that's up to you if you want to add those in or change it. But once again, each person's will be different. So once you've entered in this information, click the save button. As you can see, it's saving. So now, as you can see, it's now updated your profile. So Dominic, profile, Portland, USA, born December 2nd, 1977, years of translation experience, 10, and everything that we just filled out is now all within your profile page. So as you can see as well, it can also show you with our Google map where exactly you're located. So maybe they want to meet you in person or see your offices or maybe just know where you're located in the world. Once again, this is a great site to use to either people who are trying to find out more about where your designation or certification came from. All the information are included within links on the side. Also within right here, it explains about what the Global Translation Institute is and also the CTP designation. So once again, this is a great resource to use with throughout your profession. So now that we have updated that information, if you go back to that same page that we originally clicked on, you can now see it's now updated your information on this page. So now you have your picture, you have the Dominic, and it shows who was active recently. So if you want to, you can click on this, and once again, it'll go to your profile page. So someone who is visiting this site will be able to see this information and see where you are, what language pairs you do, how to contact you, and most, and most, I guess most importantly, they're able to see you as a professional. They can see your designation. They can see your education. They can contact you. They know where you're located. That way they're able to see, okay, is this a real person? Are we going to be able to work with them in the future? How professional are they? And also, where are they specialized in? You know, all this stuff is very important. Once again, as we noticed before, professional biography, this should be probably a paragraph, 200 to 400 words. This sort of explains about your translation experience, something about you, maybe some works you've done or somewhere where you've been published or produced. I mean, all these things are going to be different for each person. To allow visitors to visit your new CTP Translator Profile webpage, go up to the top of the website, as you can see up here, and double click on this until it's highlighted. Using this link, you can control C or copy and paste it into anything whether it be an email or on a professional website or on social media, and someone can click on that and go straight to your profile webpage. And additionally, what you can do is add an email signature to any outgoing email. Simply go down to the signature section of your email address, and once again, after you've entered in your, your name, your phone number, or whatever other information you'd like to include, use that same copy and pasted internet link that we've given you before and anyone who clicks on this will be able to go and visit your professional CTP Translator profile page. Thank you once again for your time and attention, and this is a Certified Translation Professional CTP designation.